it's me. And uh, I bet you're wondering where I've been. I had intended to do heaps and heaps of videos this summer, to do, to create heaps and heaps of videos this summer of my adventure back to the UK. Uh, you can see a lot of it happening here. This is the very start as I leave Osaka, Japan and take the flight to Singapore before taking one further more on to London. So I'm leaving these videos a little bit rough and ready because I actually quite like the turbulence in the videos and the kind of focus in and out and I hope you like the start of the journey. I will be doing my best to, to create a series of videos that represent the entire trip uh, so I guess a kind of travel vlog. Some of them will be in this portrait mode just like this and others will be landscape and you'll get to see lots of the little things that are in and around the Singapore airport in this video including the butterfly garden, the cool rivers and things. I was actually there from midnight to 6am or so so I couldn't really leave or do anything interesting but I was very excited to be on a big trip. Normally if I've flown anywhere it's only been one or two hours away from where I live and uh, yeah this was the most time consuming and expensive trip I can imagine I'll ever do. Which might sound mad considering I live in Japan but I came here to work and live so it's not really a holiday but it might seem like it. And in fact the journey I did that I thought would be a holiday wasn't really a holiday. It was. I'm very lucky. Very lucky I got to have such an experience. I don't like to use the word lucky. I did work my butt off for a year and a half working four jobs with little pay, which was a bit crazy, but without having done that, I wouldn't be able to do this. Waste my money in a coin machine. There were lots of really cool things to do at Singapore airport. And although one family did not agree that this, this coin machine was worth any amount of their time, I had fun with it and I made it do something. I really enjoyed having window seats. I made sure that I booked all of my seats myself and booked my vegan meals as well. I am not vegan, but note to self and to all of you guys, if you book vegan or vegetarian meals, you will get your food before everybody else. So if you are the kind of person that gets jealous looking at other people's food, this is gonna help you out big time. Now. I never get time to myself, so having a 13.5 hour flight from Singapore to London was the prime opportunity for me to just watch movies, which I really loved doing. Um, standout ones were A Man Called Otto and the Elvis Presley movie, really great, and I was trying not to cry. Uh, I basically didn't sleep that much and somehow didn't even get jet lag but I think that's because I don't really live on a time zone anyway uh, please enjoy the lovely views as I arrived in England oh my little heart was so filled seeing green fields and everything be higgledy piggledy that's a, that's a word isn't it yeah I loved it I was getting really excited and as we come towards the end of the video here you'll see a kind of contrast from the from the very start in Osaka to being on the trains in London and hearing people chattering in the background. If you've noticed, a lot of people were coughing on the flights. I was sick for four days after this series. Um, yeah, there's a little flyby of lots of things that interest me, such as hot water in the taps and recycling bins. Thank you for watching. Check out linktr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James to support me and see what else I make.